guys and welcome back to the first official week of Weight Loss Wednesdays. I weighed in this morning and I will share with you guys my results um, in a few minutes. But I wanted to go over kind of like my successes and my, I don't want to call them fails, or things that I need to work on um, in the future. So this past week, um, in my like introduction to this series, um, I talked about how I had been focusing on drinking a lot more water. Um, tracking everything that I'm eating, only drinking alcoholic beverages on the weekends, and kind of be more mindful of what I'm drinking. So I've stuck with that really well. The only thing I can say is, um, well, at work, my water consumption isn't as high as it is when I'm at home. So I need to really focus on, you know, carrying water with me. Um, I'm constantly up and moving around, so it's a little difficult, but I need to figure something out there. Um, I've tracked absolutely everything that's been put in my mouth through my fitness pail on my phone, um, which has really helped a lot by seeing um, and pre-planning my meals. Like I said in that last video, I literally get up in the morning and I know exactly, for the most part, what I'm going to be eating for the entire day. Um, we had two days last week where I kind of like got screwed up. The day that I filmed that, that last video was... Saturday, I believe, and we had planned on going for sushi um, as like date night, and I had kind of like set aside the points for that, or the calories for that, I knew what I was going to be getting, kind of, for the most part, and then um, last minute, we ended up going out with a bunch of friends to kind of like an arcade, um, Dave and Buster's, I think, I think there's more than one location, which is like an arcade, and then there's a restaurant inside, which is like a sports bar. So I looked online and I tried to kind of pre-plan what I was going to eat and there was nothing. Like their salads were all super high in calorie, whether it was the dressing, the cheeses. Like I know you can eliminate things like that, but essentially I would have been eating lettuce because everything had fried chicken on it and this and that. And I'm not somebody that's super comfortable with like modifying a ton of things. Like I'll ask for certain things on the side, but if I'm like creating a whole new meal, I get a little iffy about that. And they had two things that were their under 600 calorie options, and both were covered with like this mango salsa and cooked in this mango salsa, and that just doesn't appeal to me. So I tried to make the best of it, and I ended up getting a um, grilled chicken sandwich on a wheat bun, and I didn't have french fries, but I stayed within my calories. So I made the best of a kind of cruddy situation where I wasn't really sure what I was going to eat. Um, which was really nice. Um, and I think I only went over by like 50 calories that day. So all in all, I did quite well. Um, and then the next day was the one day that I kind of like had planned my entire day, but then we went to Matt's parents to watch the really disappointing Lions game, but we're not going to talk about that. Um, and his mom had set out this like taco nacho dip, which is like, it's a big thing for me. I, I, it's one of my absolute favorite things and I knew that it was going to be an issue and I kind of like stepped away from it and didn't bother to eat any of it. And then we all sat around like their kitchen table and started talking and then she said it in front of us. So then I was kind of like, okay, what if I just like use the tortilla chips and like skip just the toppings, which was fresh veggies, I would be okay. Well, we started getting talking and I started eating more and more of it and then pretty soon I realized like I had way too much of this. So that was the only one time that I think I like truly slipped up um, the past week and wasn't like watching my portions. I've been weighing out everything that I've eaten, um, like literally everything. My food scale has become my best friend. And it's really been eye opening where you think, you look at a plate and you think there's no way that this is going to fill me because I used to eat double sometimes of the, you know, servings of this. And by the time I finished eating, I was perfectly fine and I was comfortable. So that's been a big thing, um, is using my scale um, and just, like I said, tracking everything this week. So my goals for the next week are to work at, worry about water more at work and then um, kind of just keep on track. I haven't gotten back to the gym this week, honestly. Um, life's just been really crazy this week. Um, I've had meetings and we've been working on some household projects 
and it's like there's just not enough hours in the day and so we haven't gotten back to the gym so I do really want to get back into the gym this upcoming week um, I think that'll help boost things and make things go a little bit faster and I'll see better results um, I really like seeing results on a scale, but I also really enjoy seeing like inches lost and kind of seeing my body change. So that's a big one. Um, I think those are my main goals for this week. So um, this past week went from, technically it went Thursday to this Wednesday. And in those days I lost 2.3 pounds. So I'm really happy about that. I think. It was a really good start. I know some people lose like five or six pounds upwards even in their first week with water weight and stuff. I've never been somebody to drop weight super fast the first couple weeks. It's usually, I'm very consistent. Um, this is not my first rodeo. I've been on weight loss journeys for a very long time and have actually succeeded numerous times and then gained everything back. So this time I'm, I'm Realizing that slow and steady wins the race, like I said, I'm not setting myself up for failure by setting these humongous goals. I'm um, kind of setting smaller goals. Um, my goal for like this month, which I should have no problem achieving it, is to get into the next like, weight bracket. Like I'm really close to getting down to the next like 10 pound range, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm really close. I'm. So I'm really close to achieving that. Um, I'm about a pound, 1.3 pounds away from getting down into the next um, 10 pound range. And that's just kind of how I'm gonna go with it is I wanna get into that next, you know, that bracket below and then down, down, down. And like I said, my um, first main goal is to get down 30 pounds by the middle of June. And then my ultimate goal is like 50 to 60, depending on where my body's at when I get close to that. So yeah, that's where I'm at for this week. Um, 2.3 pounds, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of things that I really would have changed short of drinking a little bit more water, um, getting back in the gym, and then those two slip ups. And the one that we ended up going out with friends, I was actually really proud of myself because Lil had french fries. I was completely within my calorie goal short of 50 calories over and so I'm going to call that a success because while everybody else was getting baked mac and cheese that looked amazing and you know conies and that kind of stuff I just got a chicken sandwich which wasn't the healthiest thing that I could have ever gotten but for the situation that I was in I made a really good choice so I'm actually really happy with myself on that and I need to continue to remember that when we go out um, just to pre-plan and I'm trying not to go out as much and then just the mindless eating when we were sitting there talking. I need to kind of just sit back and enjoy the company and not so much the food. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, you guys want to let me know um, your successes for the week down below. I'd love to read them and respond back and forth with you guys. Otherwise, I will see you in another video, but I will see you next Wednesday for another Weight Loss Wednesday. Bye, guys.